That was literally the same reaction when I walk out of this movie. Keeping it cheap ain't nothing. You ain't gotta like it cause the hood don't love it. You ain't gotta like it cause the hood don't love it. Watch a young nigga show his ass I'm puppy. been talking about. I just realized I'm also taking a review because I actually watched the movie with him. So anyways, the movie is about planes, fire, and rescue. Fire and rescue. Fire, fighters. I think that's the same though. But no, it's not the same that fighters and rescue. But anyways, this is actually a movie review. A not so good movie review. I'm just gonna going to add some comments, opinions. I think my dad is not there. Yes. <laughs> Let's get started. Before I actually watch the movie, I really thought it's gonna going to be so childish. Here's the name, here's the title. I got it so childish. But anyway, but after I watched it, it's actually good. Surprisingly good. The direction's good, the writing the script is good, the animation is HD. High definition! Not as HD as YouTube. I'm sorry YouTube. I'm not, I'm not actually <laughs> ridiculing the YouTube. And it's true anyway. The quality is really good. And I think some of the dogs are actually having a YouTube. So... I know, Lokin said it all. So I'm just going to add some comments. Like, this. It's actually dedicated to the firefighters all over the world sacrificing their lives just to save other people's lives. And yes, it's actually mentioned in the beginning of the video or movie. It's just insane because it's actually, well maybe it's not insane, but I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know about the quality of the video or movie. I really love the quality, high definition, HD, it's YouTube, no wait, it's not YouTube, it's a movie, but of course it's Disney, why would Disney not give such a horrible movie? Well, it can't be, but come on, it's very HD, that's all I can say, you know what part in the video? HD. HD is high definition, yes, I explained it. Actually, there's actually part of the video where you get to be ha have the view of the plane. I mean, be the plane. Who else wanna be the plane? Of course, no one but the kids. Of but maybe me. <laughs> maybe. So maybe I'm gonna go to end this review now, or not so much of a review, or just give comments because it's about to be three minutes or something. So I'm gonna go to end. The rating. Seven plates out of ten plates. Isn't that good enough? I already gave a very good rating. I do hope it's good enough, but yeah. Prince of here again. A very rare name. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go to end this now. Bye! Hello guys, King26 here, and this is my review for Planes, Fire, and Rescue. Planes, Fire, and Rescue is the new 3D computer animated comedy and adventure sequel directed by Robert Ganaway and features the voices of Dane Cook and Ed Harris. The film follows when world famous air racer Dusty learns that his engine is damaged and he may never race again. He must shift gears and his launch into the world of aerial firefighting. Dusty joins forces with the veteran fire and rescue helicopter Blade Ranger and his team, a bunch of all fairing vehicles known as the Smoke Jumpers. Together, the fearless team battles a massive wildfire and Dusty learns what it takes to become a true hero. I was not literally anticipating Planes, Fire, and Mercy. If you saw my review for the first one, you would know that it was just an average little cartoon flick for kids. So my school set up a block screening for this movie and I was kind of intrigued, not 
for the fact that I was excited for this movie. No, that's not the point. The point is that our school never done this type of stuff before. Since it's our school anniversary, they decided to show this thing. And oh my god, this movie is so obnoxious. Planes, Fire and Rescue is literally the most boring animated movies I've seen since Cars 2. But the question to ask, is it more abysmal than Cars 2? No, no. The voice acting was good. You know, every typical animated movie that comes out every year, it always has that same kind of manifestation. Danny Cook, I mean, he was alright as Dusty, but in some scene he just brings out some totally bad line delivery, and it just sometimes annoyed me so much. Ed Harris is also in this movie. He was the most redeeming factor of this movie by far. His character was so interesting to the point where you want him to have more screen timings as Dusty has. This movie has one of the worst scripts ever. Every dialogue that comes out of this movie was so dreadful in any possible way to the point where you want to burn them. I'm guessing the writers of this movie were in the studio discussing what are they going to do about the dialogue. So yeah man, let's just make the people think that we are making this like the first movie, but, but we'll make it more different. Let's improve the dialogue, characters, and screen time. Obviously, I completely expected the writers of this movie were so predictable and they didn't know what the hell they are doing, honestly. Also, the movie moves on such a slow pacing and this movie was literally 84 minutes and I was sitting in my seat waiting for the movie to end because me and my mom were so bored out of our minds but no the movie keeps on going and going and it keeps dragging on on so many predictably dumb levels the animation was good I mean that's also one of the most redeeming factors of this movie just the development of the characters were so bad right right when the movie ended I was just empathizing my thoughts for the movie then I reflect on the names of the characters and holy crap I couldn't even remember one of their names overall playing fire and the rest was such a wasted experience. It was long, dragged out, and boring, and it's strictly for children. I am turning 13 this year, and I gotta admit, I got bored out of this thing. I'm gonna give Planes, Fire, and Rescue a 2 out of 5. Well, that was my review for Planes, Fire, and Rescue. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm King616, and please subscribe. Peace.